Girlfriend. Two, one. All right, so I just Wait, want you to know. Phone. Did you just say, oh, she's my girlfriend's actually pretty cute? <laughs> no, no, no. The picture she sent of us. I was like, oh, that's pretty right. cute. So I want All you right. to know that like, I what? went to like go. go like press record on this, and I was like, get your brown ass out of here. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm not good. I, <laughs> so, I, I am also brown. Like that's All like. Right, so if those of you don't know, because he, you know, looks confusing to start. Ty is actually mixed. Ty is like, wow, what am I, a fucking dog? Michael Jackson cookie. Ah. Like he is half white. Half black, and this is what came out okay. at the end. Yeah, my dad was essentially bleach in a gene pool. I didn't believe yes. it. I remember when he told me that in like <laughs> elementary school. I did not believe he was black. I yeah, my, our friend Mike, it. Mike, uh, Mike Blakesy, what's up? I didn't we, understand. My, so I think yeah. my mom had to explain it to me actually. Yeah, we, like so, Mike <laughs> Blakesy didn't white. <laughs> he didn't believe anything that we said. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, so you live I in black Binghamton? Cousin, so to me, it oh just, yeah, it didn't yeah. It confuse me. Oh, uh, you know what? <laughs> Oh, no, we're good. Okay, we're good. We're good. So Mike Blakesy, okay. like, he's like, I live in Binghamton, you know what it is? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, I have a friend that goes there. He's like, oh, really? Like, oh, look, like, yeah. And then we met Ty, like, Ty, you let his wife throw up in your, like, Yeah, so I was like, room, yeah, yeah, it's like, you know, Ty used to have an afro. He's like, no, he didn't. And then he pulls up a photo. Like, so, like, I don't know who lied to Mike or who hurt him. <laughs> But he just didn't believe anything that we said until, like, we showed him proof. Yeah, then there's that English kid, like, James, right? And this is when I knew, like, you were one of my best friends. <laughs> like, it was, like, we were, like, 25. And uh, it was, like, this English kid, like, was there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Green and, hair, like, green hair, yeah. Yeah, yeah, And we said, like, you know, like, oh, yeah, like, Ty's half black. Because you have to tell everyone. And it's like, yeah, Ty, Ty's half black. And this little, like, uh, fucker mate or whatever. He said, uh, you're half black? Which half? And like you and I both said at the same time, the bottom. The bottom. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I don't. Um, so as long as we're talking about penis size, I just Whoa, saw. A meme. Why are we talking about? When did we're that not, come out? Cause, well, cause we're not. Well, I, I saw said the bottom. Like, like we alluded to it, but like, yeah. in no way <laughs> I didn't hear the was word any penis. other aspect of the com- <laughs> was any other aspect of the conversation going toward penis. <laughs> uh, well, I saw a meme. That it was it was Kanye West saying that was your first mistake. Okay, all right. Anyway, anyway, I just saw a meme and I actually have it on a screenshot. I'm just gonna bring it up real quick. It was a really I don't want to say lengthy explanation because it's not ignore those other rest of the screenshots. All right, so wow, Ka- Kanye Whoa, has. Whoa, why do you have that on your phone? Kanye has disgusting. a new video of him <laughs> urinating on his Grammy, Grammy yeah, yeah. right? And Kanye's shoe size is a twelve, That's great. and a size twelve shoes is eleven point twenty five inches long. Now in this video, we see the top half of his shoe. But we don't see his penis. Half of a size 12 of a shoe is 5.625 inches. So from that, we can assume that Kanye, making sure his penis was at least one inch away from camera, is 4.625 inches soft. And if we go hard, the average man gains 1.5 inches when they erect. So we can assume Kanye has a 6.125 inch penis when erect. Conclusion, Kanye is not packing, but he's not doing bad. Now, a problem... Wait, 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 that's not even true, though, because, like, when you're soft compared to hard, your your penis can grow up to 300%. So, with that... Is this a porn ad? Like, with I'm, that... No, no, I'm just saying, like... You can grow eight like, times more. If you're, like, if you're... Hold like, on. If you're three soft, it can grow up to 12. <laughs> All right, so for me, like, I'm just... It, or a friend of mine. That's true, that's true. A, yes, fri- yes. a friend of mine is, like, let's say, like... A friend of like mine. Like, this big, soft... But like, re- like a lot bigger. Hard. Why do you know that? Well, that's like me. I, I just so said a friend because it's. And let me just say something. I'm not, I'm that's not a blessing. About this. I don't like, want to walk around with a soft dick that's eight inches big. Yeah, like that like, is no horrible. Effect, like I know somebody. I, I, I do wear shorts. I know somebody I had a that does that. Brother. I had a fraternity brother like that. Like it was just like he, <laughs> like he would walk around naked. When you he was see drunk. it in the shorts. And it's like you're a dickhead. Like fucking put on your. He, he never wore underwear. <laughs> oh, same. That was the problem. Got you. Why are you telling the world this? Like. This, I'm this an open what, book, man. This I, is what you. This is what you want the world to know. Ask me anything. I go. I'm Randy Chavez. Oh yeah. By the way, I'm Randy. The real Randy Chavez is part two. Four yep. minutes into this. Electric bug Big away. tie. Big tie. That's uh, Jap. The real one. Justin. Whoa. Justin Andrew Pierce. Yeah. He yeah. Me you, a Jap. you know what? I'm, I was like to to break away from the '90s conversation for some reason, which involved penis. Um, <laughs> I uh, I was kind of offended when we opened the last part because. You said his full fucking name, and uh, it made me think, like, oh, this motherfucker uh, doesn't know my middle name. Okay, so I tag him in Facebook well, all the time, so Ty Jonathan McDonough okay. is okay. The, but I just, like, Good I save. got, a, like, a reaction from when I said Justin Andrew Pierce. Someone said something, I was like, okay, I won't do full names. I, nah, I don't know what nah, it was. Nah, you're a twat. Who said oh, that? I don't know. 
I, well, I might have said like, oh, like you. The can only use, reason my middle like, name's yeah. on Facebook is because I have two Facebooks and one's linked to Spotify and always repopulates itself <laughs> when I listen to a song on Spotify. Oh. So I tried to make my. Yeah, mm-hmm. it doesn't work. People say happy birthday to another one that I don't use. Do, do you so. guys ever get like discouraged when you see like a porn with like a guy that's like giant and it's like, all right, I am. No, never- you better rail that. No, all right, all right, <laughs> all right. So it's like, first off, no. <laughs> And then second off, like, uh, this this is about the nineties. Oh, like I know, like drawing dicks on each other when we passed out was like a nineties <laughs> like kid kind of thing to do, but like we're getting away from the conversation. Okay, so in the nineties, so like in the nineties, because we we all did it, we all figured out a way. Not in the nineties. Dial up internet. Oh my yeah. god! Actually, no, no. The I first time AOL, I actually dude. saw it was was at your house. I was very. <laughs> it was my fault. The I, first time I, I, I watched dumb nineties because I had dial I up internet. Admit, I didn't have inter- so I his house definitely showed. You, I show everyone. Show me. It was, it was well, a thing also that you showed me. Said, we didn't know what Photoshop was, so we thought we were looking at like Britney, Britney Spears. Spears and it was really Britney Spears. I thought it. I and one time. I wanted to go to BritneySpears.com <laughs> at a family party. It was like Christmas or oh, something. No. And my whole family gathers around the computer and I'm like, guys, you have to see this new thing. So I type in Britney Spears, but I spelled Spears S P A R S or something, because I was a kid and just stupid. <laughs> and all of a sudden it brought me to a, a literally a naked like female. And my mom, my my uncle, my stepdad, like everyone, I'm just like, uh <laughs> I, 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 and my, they're just like, Justin, like, they shut it off. I got in trouble. I was like, no, I pro, I didn't, I didn't even know. And then went upstairs and I typed in BritneySpares.com. <laughs> I remember. It was great. Um, all right. So yeah, like I, uh, I had a huge crush on Britney Spears. Like well, I had, I had her, really duff. I had her, oh, I had her, uh, her Pepsi, I had her Pepsi poster up in my room until like college like i was like at college and my sister moved back home and she moved into my fucking room because they had a tv and like she took down my poster and threw it out oh she threw it out (laughs) yeah yeah i was like sorry i'm like and like you know it's like i wouldn't like you know it's like as a grown man it's like well i can't exactly like put that poster like back up you know like it's just like a moral thing to me. She like, was like a kid too, like right. She was like yeah, she was like ten years older than us. Yeah, but when yeah, we so were like, like yeah, so she was like like probably like nineteen. She oh, was okay. the girl the we were aspiring to like because the media was telling us that's what. The, I think that's you know. probably the reason why I like blondes. It could be. Yeah. Could be. Hillary Duff would be the reason. You know, I thought you said oh, I thought you said uh, blinds, and I'm like, damn, bro. Like, <laughs> it's like, hey, I have a dog. You, you need. You need. <laughs> I was o- I was always anti Christina Aguilera because everyone that was they had a feud was written, against. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, and then Dirty the came out that yeah. music video, and they were like, oh, yeah, God yeah damn, it, was like, never- it was like the first like breakup I heard of. Like you know, it's like, I'm like oh man, we need it broke up. Like, <laughs> Actually, I, oh, fun story. Since you're here, um, you you. uh one of my birthday parties was kind of very upsetting because of you. Um, oh, God, what'd I do? I, we went to United Skates. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember that Word. birthday party. No. And I think I was my, actually there, yeah. And my mom invited everyone in the class or however that works. And it was around the time where the radio was playing Who Let the Dogs Out? And oh, that's a song. Bye 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 by NSYNC. Mm-hmm. And I didn't really listen to music. Like I listen to Bob Marley and like I listen to things totally unrelated nice. to what kids should be listening to. I guess nice, right, nice. Yeah. And I had a Bob Marley birthday party before that, like in my backyard. It That's fucking party. awesome. But <laughs> was he already dead by then? Uh, I'm yeah. Sure. I just I really I you know, know what it was as a kid. I used to giggle when he would go get up, stand up, and I'd be like <laughs> like in a chair. And, like, <laughs> All I know is that fucking song but, of his, like "Don't Let It Be Have It." I fucking hate that song. Really? I'm sorry. Well, you also like, hate the Doors too. What the fuck do you know? <laughs> well, fuck on. So the Doors. doors. <laughs> so sidetrack. So we're at right, United sorry. Skates, mm-hmm. and the DJ comes up to me. He's like, "Hey, birthday boy! Like, what song do you want to play?" And then all the kids are staring at me, and like they're all behind me, like, "Oh, Jesus, Jesus!" I'm like, I'm "Like, Randy." I'm like, "What songs should I choose?" Because I don't really like listen to music. I don't know. And you're like. Oh, you should choose uh, Bye 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 and Sync. <laughs> so, so I was like, Bye Bye Bye. So then he was like, Okay. And then he puts it on. Everyone's like, Oh, I remember you're this. a loser. <laughs> now, Everyone like, I knows was that Who Let the Dogs Out is the best song. And I was like, That was a good song. I was like, Can I change it to Who Let the Dog Out? I was like, Nope, you already chose your thing. And I'm like, oh. and Everyone's like, Ha ha. Like, everyone was just laughing I'm at me. I'm sorry. Ruined my birthday party. I'm sorry, bro. And then, yeah. Like, you picked the upsetting. worst fucking person 
It's like, <laughs> oh ask, yeah. I asked yeah. you, and then when I when I was like, dude, why did you? You know what? I was like, I, like, I, I was, I, I, was, like I, was <laughs> I was, I was, I was rooting for bye bye bye. See, I remember that. You remember that? that? Was, yeah, yeah. That was, was a, like, well, you're I was welcome. Like, I was happy. Okay. Yeah, that was a big. I didn't know fucking Justin was over there fucking crying. I, <laughs> I was crying because all the, the the popular kids and stuff like that, and the kids made me feel bad. That, oh like, man, I I'm didn't sorry, dude. The I just have though. such a white girl taste in music. Yeah, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like manic depressive in elementary school. <laughs> I really? feel like, it. yeah, like I was just like, <laughs> I was like, I would get in trouble for like Bye, shoving guys. the kid. Bye, take care. I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Puppy. I like I would like get in trouble for like you know like like fighting kids or whatever, but then like I would also get in like trouble for like crying too much, uh, like it was it was it was insane. I was, like I was, like I get in trouble a lot for because Mike Messina was out to get me. Yeah, that kid was an asshole. I don't remember <laughs> any of these. Yeah, I hope like, he was I always hope, out like, to get me, bro. Like I hope he's homeless. <laughs> nah, I think he's an Eagle Scout and doing something, dude. But... The... Nah, yeah, like I think like yeah, it's like, but like. That kid was a fucking Dude, asshole. The yeah. best mm-hmm. thing that I remember, it, I don't know if I met her in the 90s or it was in like middle or high school. This girl named Brooke, Brooke, I'll leave it at that. I remember like I, my like pen broke, ran out of ink or something. And I asked this girl, Brooke, next to me, like, hey, do you have an extra pen I can borrow? Okay. So, so yeah. Yeah. So after like she gives me like that disgusting look, I was like, Okay, cunt. so she gave you a disgusting look yeah, because so, you asked for her pen. Yeah, because as I I need it, well, I was like, so I got one from someone else, and I remember the next time I had an interaction with her was like is after high school. I was like twenty something, early twenties. It was before I went to the military, and I see her working at Target. Like she's behind the re- and. I, I used worked to, with her. I used to work at <laughs> Tropical Smoothie. I I used to pick up shit at, like for years at an animal hospital. Like I am in by no means like putting down anyone that works retail, but the fact that years later when I I wasn't that successful, but I was a, a little bit. I I did a lot of shit on my own, and she's ringing up my shit at Target. This one that w- like fuck you. I was laughing the whole time. I was like, I forget what I even bought. I was like, <laughs> ring me up, bitch. I didn't say it. But it's just like yeah. that must. That's so weird, you though. said before she, she, you went into the military. She actually yeah. worked in a. All right, services. so you realize like you you were twenty one when you went in. Yes. So before you went in, you were 20. under twenty one. About twenty. So she was still going to college. So having a part time job like Target <laughs> would have been normal. I guess she might have been, but just the fact that I was like, I she mean, was, she was there for a while and. uh... I, she was getting some crazy degree. She was doing something. I don't remember what she was doing, but oh, I remember yeah. she, she ended up working at guest services. So she was like the person that took all of our. She must have really hours. sucked at that. <laughs> I don't remember. I, don't, I really don't remember Target. That's a huge black hole. I don't even want to think about. Oh, so yeah, yeah. So there was this guy, Mike Coker. Oh, Coker was a great. Me yeah. and him, we, used to, <laughs> we used to go on the carpet and, and do this and like touch things and be like, and we're like ah. So he showed this game. Like he used to, one. I, I'm really impressionable, and he used to say that. Oh no, LOD Mike, because I guess there was an LOD named Mike there. I hated that guy. And I would just say like in the military, I'd be doing something like, oh no, LOD Mike, and my friend, like what? I was like, oh yeah, I was just sorry. This is like a form of Tourette's, I guess. I don't leader know. Leader of the leader of the day. So. LOD. He would. We would have this thing where I guess Don't every like time that. in and and I brought this to the military, but he's like every time they would go over on the radio, be like, all right, copy. And sometimes they would say copy, 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 copy. So we would <laughs> we would sit in the my uh, parking still say lot it. of Target every time with a radio. Every time someone would say copy, we would take a drink, and we would do this in the military too. Like guys, this is a great game. It's the fantastic. Oh, that's the copy copies follow me until like my current job my boss knit that in the butt fast he's like stop saying copy after everything I was like sorry <laughs> sorry copy I mean oh sorry 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 I didn't mean to say it oh, yeah that's what we did so we, that would annoy the fuck out of me too uh, yeah. that's great we, I don't know it's just when you have mics alright so alright we talk, we talk about the 90s a lot it's like what's we talked about what's something we thought we would have for ourselves okay. and that we don't like what's something we have now that you wouldn't have expected that's a positive thing cats that's disgusting. <laughs> Ty hates cats. Get the I fuck know. away from me. Um, I, I did not expect to have my two little kitties. They're so cute. And I love them. Um, I, what, what didn't, I, their naming conventions were ass. I'm just saying. I didn't expect to join the military. I didn't expect to have two businesses at once trying to fucking launch a third. I didn't expect to be an alcoholic. I never... I didn't have alcohol. <laughs> that's yeah, a positive. This guy's never drank oh, yeah, that's life. a positive. <laughs> I guess... 
<laughs> I, I survived alcoholism, I guess, <laughs> for now, I guess. Um, yeah, it's a lot of shit. Uh, I you're expect. degenerate. I love you. <laughs> I didn't expect. It's I, not. I never thought I would do psychedelics. Oh god, that was that's amazing. A, that's a positive. That's too? a huge positive. Yeah, all right, no, like I don't do that. Song. Like, the song, like dude, break on through to the other side. Peer that's pressure. all about, it. dude. <laughs> I, that bro, I thought me. that song was about like like trying to like push you to kill yourself. I don't think that's what that song was about at all. Which like song? I told, like break on through to the, to the other side. No, like breaking like, on through. Like it's like nah, you can do it. Just fucking jump. <laughs> all you gotta do is jump. No, like, okay. For me, like psychedelics says, <laughs> like that killed my ego. That that taught me how to like say like, hey, you you can make a lot of money. You could help the world and humanity with this money. This is a vehicle to do it. Oh, uh-huh. it just normalizes. Uh-huh. It's like Adderall. Uh-huh. It normalizes me. It makes okay. me normal. Oh, but man. like I can t- I can talk and say my mind without like worrying about all the little shit that happens afterwards because mm. I'm like whatever if they don't want to be my friend afterwards whatever no, yeah, it doesn't, the it, world is my oyster yeah That's I like, uh I never thought I would run a non-profit like it's not something like I didn't think I could do yeah. I just think I wouldn't oh, yeah, so do so tell it. people what, what you do now like, no I'm not doing that I attach oh, my name to too many bad things alright disregard <laughs> <laughs> but I do like I do run a nonprofit with about like 450 members. All right, so nice, no nice. um no links in the description for these guys. Yeah, yeah, no. Like I covered the emblem here. All right, so <laughs> am I telling them about your drink product? Uh yeah, yeah. Go ahead. All right, so Ty is the creator. Do you have a pro- the patent for it yet? Uh, I won't. I won't say what's in what's in it. Okay, it's like so a, it's a drink it's called a trade trade secret. Yeah. It's a drink it's called, called Purple Lightning. Oh. So yeah, it's a uh, <laughs> it's a storm in a bottle. Yeah, so you could have like a two ounce like shot. Uh, it's called a bolt. It does the same damage as a regular shot. It does it has the same effect, not damage, as a regular shot. Or you could have like uh, the six ounce shrink over ice, and the bar will sell to you as a ten ounce shrink. Uh, and a ten ounce, yeah. You know, so a ten ounce shrink is a storm. Yeah. So you have uh, a purple lightning bolt, and you have a purple lightning storm. That's yeah. cool. I can't wait for it. Well, yeah, I've tasted it's, uh, it before. Yeah, it's it amazing. Me, yeah, it's who manufactures it? Well, well, well he me. He's, yeah. yeah so. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's great. I, I have uh, another drink. I call the. Uh, uh, I don't know. Like, I can't say the name, but it's like for now, like the placeholder name is the Ty McDonough Special. It's like <laughs> a. It's like the perfect like dessert drink. Nice, mm-hmm. smooth. Like I just, I just it's remember sugary, the, but like it's the, like perfect. I just remember the Ty McDonough play in football. Oh, yeah, that was terrible, yeah. What's that? Tell me about that. No, you were on the team. No, yeah, no, he, he quit, but, like, oh. he, we were on, he quit after, oh, like, yeah, the first, like, two games. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I didn't see a game. I, oh, yeah. All, all, right, all we were doing right. was running. I was like, this is fucking stupid. Wow. Trying to, like, work out and the get co- muscle. And, and the coach just... did a time McDonough play where we all just lay down on yeah. the floor. Yeah, all the linemen just, like, we, fucking we, fell. We let Why? them get the touchdown. It's because I was like... lazy. I was like, I don't, like, that was my thing. Like, it was just, like, I would just dive at, like, the quarterback's ankles the entire time. Yeah. Like, but that's what they told me to do. Like, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I remember that. That was, yeah. that was some tomfoolery. I, I remember, like, like now you guys make me think about it. Like, w- there was, like, weeks we were just running. We were just... Yeah. And I was like, I am losing so Bro, much fucking weight. Like, this is not healthy. <laughs> that's all. It's all training was like, like tryouts. And it was just running. Like, we yeah. didn't run drills. Like, we didn't learn how to catch a football. Yeah, like, I was straight up not having a good time. Like, I was- yo, it sucked. All we did was run. I didn't like. And like, either. here's the thing. Like, football is. <laughs> it's only like eleven minutes of playtime. Like, we didn't learn about explosive power. Yeah. Like, that's why they never had a winning record. Like, you know, it's like. <laughs> but how much of that was the coach? Brevis, I don't know. I don't remember the names. Cheaty, yeah. Brevis yeah. or something. And then, like, like Urban Urban was, was like one sometimes. of them. Oh, I do remember <laughs> Brevis. He brought in his cat to the animal hospital. I had to put the cat down. That was sad. Yeah. He brought, also <laughs> brought his guitar in. Oh, okay. and wooed all the girls. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fine, oh my god! Oh, yeah, I remember cool. now. Yeah, Brevis was, cool. was like this really young, really yeah. good-looking guy, and all the girls would swoon, swoon over, over him. him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I remember him now. Like, he hey was like guys, the nice. We're gonna learn he was the nice coach. He was chill. Yeah, he was the nice coach. Like, yeah, it was like Larkin. Uh, was one of them. Like he was Barking, like the bald yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember these yeah. people. I remember Brevis because of the animal hospital. I remember there was a cup check once, and I wasn't wearing a cup, and I bared through that that hit. <laughs> Wait, like what? Did they kick you in the nuts? They, I think it was like, it's a, like bat. a sack tap. Yeah. No, oh it, my god. It was god. like a, they had a wuffle bat. Oh fuck. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. And he was like, everyone line up, and I'm like sitting. Whoever was standing next to him, I'm like, Yo, do you have your cup? Bro, I got like, yeah. I was like, So bad. Dude, I don't, I don't have to do. I don't have my cup. I never wear my cup. And he's like, oh, 
it's gonna hurt, man. He, I got hazel. He kind of missed, on and he like it kind of slid and like went between my sack and like the leg, which was fine, but it still hurt. And bro, I that, got away with it. That like never that team like made me like. Cups. I never played like team sports again because of like my year on that team. Like I got hazed horribly. No, what did like, you? It was terrible. They like, fucking beat me up in the locker room. Fucking really. Yeah, it fucking forced me to small jock straps. No. Ew. Yeah. I'm glad I fucking I quit that, that team. Yeah, was, I mean, well, it was like uh, it was eighth grade team. Like we were on seventh grade team. I mean, I don't have a sense of smell, yeah. so I, that I was called fucking big Ray red. Saint. Like, they that called me big red because I had I was fat and had long red hair. For some, at that point, I dyed my hair red. I think really. Yeah, I don't remember that at they all. Me, they called me Birdman. They made me. I mean, like, I was the slowest, like you know, like <laughs> with my shoulder. I was pads. like you know, like I was the slowest kid on like. And then like, I had no stamina. I had no stamina. You know the you know the, you know when you're like on the line and like you're looking at the team and like you're doing the stuff. So like the person would be like looking at the person who's like you see this guy he's crazy he's Birdman I'm like. Ah! Like I look at the person, like he's gonna he's gonna beat the shit out of you, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. Ah, and they're like, go, and then I just like attack the person. And then, the like, biggest douchebag bird- on that team was AJ Grievous. Oh my god, that kid was just such. A I was so bag. happy when that kid's pants fell off in gym class because then it was so embarrassing. Did he have a small penis? I didn't look his penis. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I remember he started like going around telling people like I had a small dick, and I was like, like. He also talked about horny goat weed in the Spicers Club. Yeah, I'm like, dude, like, what's I wrong with you? I don't. I'm trying to think if. If it's a kid I'm remembering, he was like uh Italian. Yeah, he played football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um yeah, I was I like like I'm like, dude, like, I feel like why would you friends. like even know what my like my dick looks like? Like like it's weird. Like you tell him like yo, that's gay. It's <laughs> like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, bro, it's like it's like it's not even like it wasn't even true. It was like it's not like I could like show people like I'm like, hey, nah, he's lying. You know? <laughs> <laughs> dude, that would be so boss Actually, if you did that. No, nah, I did not that's have a great nineties word boss. I did not have those Nick, stones. Nick Rossi was He's Jewish, correct? Joe Rossi, I know. I don't remember. No, uh, Nick. Uh, sorry, Nick Ross. Not Nick Rossi. Nick Ross. I uh, could sucked. His mom was English. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I don't remember that that, but I'm pretty oh. sure he went to my Jewish pre-K on Hempstead Turnpike that burned down, where the radiology place is. Did it burn down because like I a hate crime? That. No, no, it just it burned down, and I don't even remember that. But anyway, we went to this. We went to pre-K together, and there was this one day he pulls down his pants. And showing his dick to all the girls on top of a Lego table, and how old were you there guys? No, the the pre K, pre K, yeah. Oh my and the, god! The teachers weren't there yet, and I remember <laughs> when fuck? he did this, all the girls were like, "Ooh, ah, what is that?" Like type of thing. So I was like, "I need attention." So I stood on the table too, and was like, Pfft. and then the teacher comes in, Justin, <laughs> what are you doing? And then I start, I I start running around the classroom with the pants around my ankles. I fall on my face. My nose is bleeding. <laughs> And I got in all this trouble, and then but but then afterwards I got all this attention from the girls. So, oh like, my it was god! Great, and I loved it. And like every time they had like a movie thing, I was like playing with their hair and stuff, and giving them flat dandelion. Fucking Jesus! It was it was nice. Oh and, like, my fucking god! <laughs> yeah, oh was, my god! Um, that's incredible. The yeah, but he was in my. Cl- I remember that, and then we grew up, and I tried to mention to him, <laughs> it to him, and he goes, "He's like, I don't remember that." And I was like, "Okay." Whatever. It's probably traumatic for him. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, no, that kid was a dick. That's, <laughs> he always made fun of his. Spe- he was one of those guys that made fun of his special needs kids. Oh, is he like that type of asshole? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's like I always remember the kids who made fun of the special needs kids. I'm like, nah, there's something like actually, like you're you're just an evil person. The only time I remember not, I think he was my liking roommate in Huguenot. Jim. But continue. Uh, the only time I remember not liking Ryan the, the special Michael needs Venus. kids, I don't. Was he special needs? I remember him. He special needs. Okay. Um, was when I had to get a. I had to pass a piss test to go like try out for the bowling team for some rare fucking reason. The piss test. Yeah. In so. Yeah, they made you pee in a cup, and I didn't and someone until junior year. someone was using the nurses' station of the bathroom, so I had to go down the hall. <laughs> To use the special uh, needs kids bathroom, and in the middle, I heard this fucking story before. And in the, uh, I go in the bathroom, and I open the door, and in the middle of the fucking floor was a special needs kids just going at it, and I was like, "What the fuck?" And I, I get out, I was like, "What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck?" And the principal comes by, it's like, "Excuse me, that language isn't right." And I open the door, I go, "That fucking isn't right," and she's like. Oh my, uh, yeah, so. <laughs> Principal Valentina. Oh, is that her fucking name? Yeah, I fucking... Valentino. Sorry. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Nobody yeah. liked her for some reason. Like, I, n- she, I, never I, I never had a problem with her. Oh. She would pull me in the office and I feel like she gave me cookies and stuff, so. Really? Yeah. Did, like. Did she, your mom, like, 
Oh, like, did she owe your mom a life debt or something? <laughs> no, I just, like, you know what it was? It, it, when I first got into high school, I wrote an essay to, uh, to Mr. Uh, Moran, right? Uh, he, had, he had diabetes and an eye patch sometimes. I don't remember. No, uh, I don't remember. Okay, that. well, he, um, I wrote a, I wrote an essay, and I, I was, there was some type of, like, suicidal thing maybe in there or whatever, and... Um, oh, she thought you were suicidal? Well, he did, and so did she, I think. <laughs> So what happened was next, like the next day, like I get called in the office and they're being so delicate with me for some reason. And I was like, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, and then man. like the next day, I'm in with I'm in this like session with uh, uh, with the school psychiatrist person. She's like, Do you want some cookies? And some so all I had to do and was write a note that said I was suicidal, and, 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 and I would like, get like, free sure. cookies. And then now I'm in an AA meeting in the middle of school, and I was like, <laughs> oh, I have no idea what's happening. And Henry Cruz is there. Jordan Ramirez is there. I saw Henry Cruz like, like a like a year or two ago. He's, I love him. I've, I've, on yeah. Facebook, I see him and stuff, and he's cool. Yeah, his, his sister but is very good friends of mine. I'm I'm in this thing, and like there there was a kid in there, and I, he was telling a story about how like he tried to rob a place one day, and like he got caught and something. I'm like, I don't, I, and like oh, and Justin, and I'm like, I I have no idea why I'm here. I was like, <laughs> I, I I enjoy the cookies and the Cheez-Its, but bro, neither one of those kids finished high school. <laughs> What? Yeah, like like Henry Cruz is finished high school and like I know Jordan Ramirez. He's he's like in construction now. He's like I think he's right, married. He's got a girlfriend. He's in good Texas. He's got a big epic beard. Except third grade, Jordan. No, I remember. All right, I'm not gonna mention. <laughs> now he was like he was a bad kid. Like you know, I was like he was a kid. Like your parents told you to stay away from. You know. Well, he also like he was yeah. like I, remember, I actually thought about this the other day. His brother Jamie was hardcore. Yeah, like, he, his brother Jamie was getting in like gang fights. He was and a shit. scary person. My mom said don't he, hang out. He with. he had a, a rough home situation. Yeah, um, but and, you know it's terrible too because like he was like one of the only like other like ethnic kids in like our yeah. elementary school. Nah, no, right? it was cool. I I, I still friends. Anyway, um, this one kid, Rob, not going to mention his last name. We went to this thing called Levittown oh, after no. school program, and right after nine eleven happened, he he that just that's a terrible setup. Right he <laughs> he <laughs> had, had a drawing. Furniture. I didn't see the drawing. I wanted to see the drawing because everyone was like, oh, my God. Apparently, it was really funny. And he he drew, apparently, more planes flying into more buildings. And, like, everyone was like, his mom was called. He couldn't go there anymore. Like, I was I was in trouble because, like, they had thought it was seen. Through. I was like, I didn't even see it. I want to see it. probably just laughed. I, <laughs> you probably giggled. I didn't see it. You no, terrorist. like, oh, let me see. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I look, if you look at it, yeah, I, yeah. I would, I would walk. I, I remember <laughs> think, wanting to see it, but I never saw it. I, I was sheltered. I had no like, idea what happened. We got out of school. <laughs> Uh, Miss Leong was so. Were you Miss Leong? Great. Who was him? Yeah, yeah I, I talked about I this. Was, uh, where I was. I had school with Shodi that year. Okay. We, okay. Well, so you had Leong? Yeah. I, so I talked we had about Leong. This. She's like, okay, class, you guys are going to go home early. I, I the only no, male that did teacher. not happen. I didn't know we that guys could be we did not go home early. My mom was home from work from New York City and she yeah. was waiting she, for me at the She block, picked you up. Bus stop. She yeah, must, some parents but, didn't pick you up. Like, some parents like, yeah, she must Because I on the bus. I no. had no idea what was happening. We did home. not go home early. I, was I just Nick, remember Nickelodeon, that. and there was showing planes, and I'm like, "This isn't a cartoon. What the fuck is going on?" No, it was on yeah. every channel. Yeah, every channel. Yeah. I uh, was, well, uh, I remember that news with Linda Ellerby that night, yeah, like yeah. Nick t- Nick News. But I remember I distinctly, that. she was told by some other teacher like not to tell us. She's like, "This is what happened," she, and she wheeled in the cart from the library so we could watch what was going on. I, I swear to God, I remember that. So you were probably the kid whose parents didn't care to pick you up when there was... Apparently. <laughs> when no, there was, like, like, the, uh, maybe like one of the worst travesties no, in American the history. Bus. They said you can go to your bus. Maybe... Oh, maybe they maybe that's what... Because I, I remember lunch being like, there was no kids at lunch. It was like half empty. I was I was the first kid called out of school. <laughs> right? Yeah, because yeah. like, you know, like, both, <laughs> you know, like, both my parents were cops. And like, oh, my mom... True. My mom was already in the city, and like my dad had to go my in. My mom worked in the oh, wait, city. How'd you get I think that's why. Oh, uh, my dad. He had to like he had to, he Did had your to make sure I was home. In the city? Oh, fuck. Yeah, because uh, like it, nobody knew. Yeah. Nobody knew. Oh, if, if mine, more, that's more why my mom worked in the city. Yeah, my my mo- my dad was and a letter carrier school, in Queens, and my mom was in Queens also working for White Castle. But on this day, she was off. <laughs> she didn't pick me up either. She just said like, I remember getting home. I had a bet with her saying like, I bet you I I can go a week without eating cookies. And I go home. It's like, I didn't eat cookies today. She's like, I don't care about that. Too much stuff sad. Ha- too much sad stuff happened. Which okay, granted, yes, it did. But I was just proud that I I didn't eat cookies that day. Yeah, nah, like that's that's terrible. Like, 
Oh man, yeah, that was nine eleven. Fuck, that's like everyone was crying. Yeah. I still didn't know what was happening. I just, I was like, that's I had no idea what was happening. Thing. Like, I, I mean, I didn't cry. No like, one talked to me know, on the bus stop. Uh, like, it was weird because it was like people I didn't know. Like, it was weird. The Yo, bus the was next day, us around the next on day stops. on like the bus out, like uh, kids were talking about like like dirty Middle Easterns and shit. Like, I didn't know what a Middle oh, Eastern shit, was. Really? Yeah. Next, yeah. Like, oh yeah. These God. fucking Muslims hate us. And I was like, yeah, like what's Carbone, a Muslim? Dom yeah. Carbone started some shit on my bus. Oh my God. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Cause there was a couple of Muslims. Yo, we, went to, we went to school with, they had like the turban. It like, was the, weird. I remember yeah, seeing like, I like, I didn't, I didn't like, I was like, I didn't, I still did. At that point in my life, I was 10. I didn't know there's a difference between black and black and Hispanic. Like I thought he was black. <laughs> <laughs> really? There was yeah. another kid in first grade. I, cause the, our fucking teacher, I, I don't even remember her. Yeah, I know you were in the class, but she wouldn't let me get water. I was like, I'm fucking thirsty, you cunt. So I go to the bathroom <laughs> and I didn't say that. I know. But I went to the bathroom and I you drank from words, the fountain yeah. and this one brown kid, he goes and he, he fucking tells me, he's like, Hey, does the, uh, the, this kid drank from the fountain? That black kid. I was like, I'm not black. Like, but, but yeah, I was like, you fucking like, ugh, fucking, I, I don't yeah, even know like, who the kid was. I, like, I honestly like, because there were celebrations of like 9-11, like in, Mil- in like some Middle Eastern countries. Oh, yeah. Like they were cheering and like, you know, like they were talking about like that. I was like, yeah, you fucking dirty animals hate us. And like, they were light. So like, I thought like, I thought they were like, you're like, I, I thought they were white. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, like, how do you can, how can you tell like white people like, oh. and like from other white people? And like, what? They're not white. Yeah, and I was like, God. okay. I mean, like, they looked white to me. It's like, uh, yeah, it's like, I that remember, was like, that I was hardcore remember, racism. Man. I, I remember like, elementary school being 99% white. I don't really remember. I just know the shirt you're wearing. Yeah. I was wearing, like, one of mine yesterday. <laughs> nice. That's my uh, favorite one. I just wear it all the time. Our uh, college fraternity. We were in, yeah. we went to different colleges. Different colleges. Ended fraternity? up joining the f- same frat. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. cool. TKE. Buddies. Deke. I went to, nah, I after, I, I didn't go to college until I was, like, 25, 26, and I went to a community college for one semester. No, I went for five years, so I feel you. <laughs> I, I went for one semester, and I was like, I am not doing this for the rest of my life. Fuck this. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely. Did you did you use waste. your Ed Award for anything else? Ed Award? Yeah, your education award. Oh, my GI Bill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. No. That's what they call it for veterans. Yeah. When I was in the, when I was in the American Peace Corps, like they, uh, bro, like learn how to fly a plane. You can use it for that. I I, do, I don't have time. Like aside from this, like every, I'm, I was I was just about to say, I'm like, bro, if you could like take like two hours, like re- record a 15 minute podcast, like, you can learn how to fly a fucking plane. I yeah, guess since you're getting paid, you use it for something that makes money. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm yeah. already because I like, I feel like I you'd be like I feel like you have a perfect voice for like a commercial pilot. Like yeah, if you look like to the left, like we have a well, don't commercial pilots Long make Island like nothing? sound. Yeah. And if you look to your left, I think they just make like there. sixty grand a year. I don't, like, fucking I don't, know. I don't like, think they make a lot of money. Not something that true, true, true. If if I were to do something, it would have to. I mean, be you're something. also not working eight hours a day. I'm working maybe, maybe about thirteen, fourteen. Uh, exactly. So it's like the same amount of money, but unless I time. guess, but I un- unless I were to go to school to something that would make me like two hundred thousand a year, I'm I'm not. I can't. I'm not. It's yeah, not no, I feel it. that. I feel that. You know. Gotcha. I'm not smart enough to be a doctor because math. <laughs> I just like I hate science. Well, like, I don't know. No, it's like it just bores me. Like I like I'm not like no, I love science. Like, it's I was just like, like I always fell asleep in biology. It's like really? I could never stay up enough to learn about the human. I'm not human a uniform anatomy. person. You can't put me in a white coat and expect me to mix potions. Like I'm not <laughs> mix potions. Yo, you like see, a, like I hate doctors. <laughs> I hate doctors because like they uniformed white coats. And like I feel like I would just love to casually walk around with a white fucking coat. But well, it doesn't have to be lengthy. You could just yeah, but like I'm not. Dr- like I'm not a lengthy. dress code person. I'm not an on time, fashionably late. That's how I am. I remember <laughs> in high school, this just came up to me that you just I was you, never around. First you period. were yeah. Oh, first God period, damn it! Never. My mom would call me out all the time. She would say I'm sick. Uh, I would have a bloody nose, some excuse, and I would come in. I made a deal with with. Uh, the Spanish the teacher. Spanish teacher. So, I remember you. Were, yeah. I also remember one year you brought in like four DSs because we were done with everything, yeah. and we all just played Mario Kart. Yeah, because none of you had DSs. So yeah, I was like, here's the DSs. Let's all play. He's poor. <laughs> I didn't have. I would collect. No, you weren't poor. Your parents just didn't love you enough. To also, buy it wasn't that you. No, I also traded <laughs> video parents. game stuff for milk cartons and like f- and yeah. I was a big trader of video games. Yeah, no, 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 you were getting getting people to sponsor you. This guy right here, the Chicken Nugget Champion. Oh, you were yes. the Chicken Nugget Champion. All right, so uh, just for the guys that don't know, in 
uh, multiple years, but I'll just do it. I guess the first year that happened, this one kid in fourth lunch period, he ate like 36 nuggets and some kid like two periods after ate like 39 nuggets. Yeah, and Ronnie then I Cardo. come in and I was the last one, the last uh, yeah, period. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I ate like 49 the first time. Happened no, no, again no, no, 45, few, 45. Well, all right, 45. Like you, you beat him by one just to beat him by one. All right, a few, <laughs> like a year or two later, I held that till 11th grade where I had to do it again. Someone beat it me. It was a big thing. Everyone in every period. And knew about I did it. it. <laughs> I, I, did, yeah, I yeah, had yeah. like 52 nuggets that time. Yeah, you know, it was, that was such a ball. Because like one of the, like everybody's favorite sub I I and left. Ronnie Cardinal, like they had like an eat off to try and beat yours. I don't, I don't. And then like uh, one of the O'Connor brothers, I forget who. Kevin O'Connor. Remember Kevin that O'Connor. Now. Like he broke it like. Like, and that's who like I had the to same time. Grade. Yeah, the same time. No, well, yeah, oh. at the end of eleventh grade, because like he yeah. stopped at fifty five. No, you honored that. You honored it. You wouldn't go go above fifty five because he stopped at fifty five because uh, Coach Robbins. Uh, oh, he like yeah. he died that year, and he was number fifty five. Right? Yeah, and he was number fifty five. Like he was like Levittown homegrown and everything, and like so he died, and his like his number was fifty five. So like he like Kevin O'Connor stopped at. 55 chicken nuggets and you honored it i think you matched it yeah and then this one kid steve center a uh, freshman so he didn't know the coach the it last no yeah meaning. it was yeah. the it was the last period of when i was in 11th grade 64 and he ate 64 so i trained oh all fucking God. summer i'm eating lettuce i'm eating all this shit and i <laughs> fucking destroyed him on the it was like 80 or 90 right no it wasn't that much oh. it was 60 60 no 72 70, 72 dude i showed 72. up from gc tech like i like i came back from the bus and i just i hear people chanting and i'm like what's going on i go into <laughs> the fucking and i get in there and i'm like there was oh a marine God. there that was recruiting <laughs> and he was like yes do it was, yo like i could imagine like that must have been like the greatest like recruitment like he had <laughs> the greatest tabling he had that in that, the Marine Corps, that was yeah. my peak in high school that was i mean i was senior year yeah like yeah like yeah. nobody else could touch that yeah that was like 70 to, like kids probably like would probably go to the hospital now i was a beast yeah. yo the shit you took at the bowling alley that same day <laughs> like you sent me a picture and it was like like i jokingly said like yeah, yeah be sure to show me the aftermath <laughs> and you actually fucking did I'm <laughs> nice. So, and like, all right. So like, so I, like, I got him back. But like, I wish I didn't. Oh, senior year with the yeah, shit. Yeah. So like, our last, <laughs> our last, our last fucking, uh, our last. Like, we we all did music, right? Like, I did chorus. You did I, orchestra. orchestra. I actually was able to get out of every cl- any class I wanted to say I was going to a music thing, but I never took music classes. <laughs> right, I, was was the the, class. I was in the musicals. I was yeah, in the plays and everything. stuff. So every teacher thought I had stuff, so I would be like, oh, I have to go to band lessons. Oh, and like, <laughs> and Miss Cap would sign my sheet. Everyone oh, would sign my sheet. Miss Cap door was great. She was so Hol- fucking hot. She well, hold on. Right. Hold on. Get away from my bay. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I know, you she guys. blocked you on Facebook. I remember that. Like, we just really? graduated. And she blocked you. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so yeah, anyway, all right, this giant... So, sh- all right, so, yeah. So, yeah, so, like, uh, Concert, so, like we, had, we had Miss Wade uh, for a chorus, right? And she was the coolest. <laughs> so, like, Wade took us all to, like, the local sports bar restaurant. Nice. Uh, like, and, like, we all had... Di- like, all the seniors had dinner together. And then, uh, you know, it was, like, I had, like... I had, like, Cajun, like, chicken or whatever. Nice. It did not sit well with me. We got back to the school. We all had to change into, like, our tuxedos for the concert. And I was like, yo, this isn't vibing well. So like, I went to the bathroom and like, just like, pull down. I pulled down you didn't my even pants. Sit down. I didn't. I didn't make it. Like, I like I managed to pull down my pants. Like, I was surprised nothing got on my clothes. Wait, you pooped your pants? No. no. Nothing uh, touched my clothes. Their pants, he like roostered it and it went <laughs> everywhere. All over the wall. On oh. the stall, <laughs> on the stall, like it was crazy. I missed the seat once. <laughs> I, no, I, I admit, I no, it, it sprayed. It, it, it was <laughs> me and Ryan Russell and I went to school used to wet the toilet paper things and throw oh, them yeah, on the ceiling. And like uh, we got caught because I remember a teacher opened the door and we we're just like, <laughs> <laughs> and then she's like, "What the fuck are you?" And we're like, "Oh my, why is yeah. it bro? Why are you in the boys' bathroom?" <laughs> like, so yeah, so like dude. I, I remember, I remember doing that. And I was like, "Oh my god!" Like I cleaned, like I cleaned myself up, and I, 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 I like I washed and I my hands. I showed you, and no, you I, like, showed me. I, I'm like, "Yo, Tyler, I need you to come look at something." It was like my crowning achievement in high school. <laughs> I was like, "I don't know what to do." Like I was, your mom like, had to pick you up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even like I didn't even get to do my senior, my own senior concert. Yeah, because like I just had fucking diarrhea. <laughs> uh, and, like so, like I'm like, "Yo, Tyler, like what should I do?" 
He's like, I don't know, like get a janitor. I was like, what? <laughs> and I was like, yo, um, Devin Hoyt. He like he came in, he came into uh, what up? Hi. So Devin Hoyt came like because he was shy about changing in front of people because he was a heavy set guy too. So like he was like like he came to the bathroom to get changed and was like yeah I'm gonna go install. And I was like <laughs> I'm like nah dude you can't go. We were like nah dude you can't go in there like I just got sick. <laughs> And he's like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm like, yo, get changed here. It's like, I can't do that. I'm like, dude, you don't have a choice. And like, <laughs> so like, I remember like you coming with me and it was like, shh, shh, shh. like we knocked on a janitor fucking room. And like, I'm like, I don't even remember going with you. This yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like I needed the moral support. <laughs> and I was like, yo, I'm sorry. Like I, like, <laughs> I got really sick in the bathroom and like, you're like, oh, you puked. And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> what was like, his reaction? Oh, really? He's like, "All right, you know, thanks for telling us." At oh, least, oh man, I'm like, I'm like, I'm so sorry. He's like, "Hey man, you know, shit happens." And uh, like, like I was too embarrassed to laugh at that. <laughs> Years later, that shit is hysterical. Like I wish, like if I was old enough to drink, I would have bought that guy a beer. So, I I remember I had a stand, but then I left, and you told everyone outside when I was leaving. Did I? Like what you told told Kevin LeCool. Oh, what sorry, happened? Man. Of course. Because like for like two three years after every year on my birthday, he said happy birthday shit on the wall. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, oh man! I guess it was before military, before I had like secret clearance, and I knew how to keep a secret. Um, so yeah, man, like Ty's leaving, you just shit on the wall in the bathroom. Like what? <laughs> like and then, like they looked like oh, I saw him the next day at school. He started laughing when he saw me. Well, like, the next like the, uh, after the weekend, he was like, he started laughing. I'm like, what's up? He's like, you shit on the wall. <laughs> like he was a good guy. It was That's like the reaction. That's the reaction you'd have. Yeah. Yeah, I remember yeah. that concert like beforehand I had a like standing heavy bag in my upstairs and I would hit it and I would try and I remember my mom saying like you're gonna ruin your hands for tonight and she was so pissed off that I was just working out before going to like because I was violin and but it never really affected me playing and she was so pissed off she wouldn't talk to me like the whole time I was like all right like whatever uh and I go and and then um I got we, a bunch of the seniors wanted to go out to like friendlies and she's like okay we'll go I was like nah I don't I, I like it's going with like friends like no we're gonna go I was like I'm just not gonna fucking go cause like they wanted yeah. to go I was like yeah my parents like I, I tried to do the same thing one year and my parents like took me to like they're like nah we'll all go and I was like, like, oh, they're this, like this we're gonna go and I'm like yeah. do not come because all the kids are gonna be at a table and I'm gonna be sitting with you yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. It's yeah, they're like, oh, aren't you glad? Like, look what they're doing to each other. They're playing pranks and shit. Like, you wouldn't like that. Yeah. And I was like, <sighs> <laughs> oh, fucking like, parents are great. I disagree. Like, like, <laughs> you know, like, you get to like fuck over somebody and like, like, just like have complete immunity to it. It's like, ha, what are you gonna do? You're my kid. Uh, I see. I, I feel like people don't give kids enough credit because kids like can emancipate yourself at sixteen. You could you're you're a grown person. You could do Yeah, but where are they gonna live? Like I you're gonna emancipate and apartment? still live there. Dude, yeah. No, if it wasn't for my dog, days. I would have lived in a fucking cardboard box and done whatever. I would have gone to school. I wouldn't have gone I wouldn't have gone to school. I would have no gone chance. to work. I would have yeah. Your password on everything. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, yeah, I would have just gone to work on my yeah. you know, full time job and then that was it. Like and that's what I did when I was nineteen. I Moved out. I worked. Guys, gonna change all his passwords. Two different chance, jobs. Zero, one. And, <laughs> that's, it was, yeah, you guys lived together. Like I remember. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Back he in. was my first apartment, and yeah. one fucking time, I think he misses me because I had two jobs. This motherfucker didn't have any jobs, <laughs> and he's like, "Hey, when are you coming home?" But similar to what I fucking have now with this child, and I say like, "You know what? I'm I'm doing something right now." I was like, I won't be home until later. So, so he says. Then I, so then I'm like, okay, cool. I'm like, yo, guys, not coming home until this time. So, so <laughs> I decide to be a good friend. Like, let me finish my stuff quickly. I put some off something tomorrow, and I'll come home early. He's having a fucking party in my apartment, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> There's so many all people right. like, oh, die. So like, oh, and he broke my fucking shelf. Yeah. All right. So you remember that? That you fucking. Well, remember, now right? I remember. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> I, I came home from college because I went away to school because I was special. Well, but, you were smart. We were not smart. Yeah, we were, we're not, not smart. We're still we not smart. We got, we got stuck. Yeah. I mean, 
I mean, like, hey, you guys could have went to a top 20 university if you wanted to. It's I like, don't think we could. I couldn't have got in. I tried to go into BU, and they said no. They said, you're, ah. you're stupid. I just <laughs> didn't try in good, high school. Huh? I, just, uh, I wanted to go for astronomy. I got A in astronomy at NASA, but everything else was... Uh, yeah. All right, but sorry. no, like, all right. So, like, I came <laughs> back. Like, I came back. I just got into the frat and everything. Like, I was college cool. And, you know, like, you were hooking up with girls every weekend, things yeah. like that. It was nice. like... It was like, yeah, college out. was awesome. It sounds and awesome. And it was like, like, I finally had freedom. Oh, Oh, good rock. Such a and it's like, so uh, I came home to uh, hang out with you because, like, we were boys. Mm-hmm. And it was like, and then, like, uh, like I found out you were living. And I'm like, ah, oh, that's awesome. And, like, I smoked cigarettes and shit, like, because I was 19 and cool. <laughs> no, I was 18 and cool now. And, um, uh, like, anti cigarette. Northside <laughs> trained me. Yeah. So, like, we went, like, I don't know how, like, we put, like, a book or something on and it just, like, collapsed. <laughs> And it was like it was like like a screw came out or something and like like one of these like one of these shelves like fucking like just like fell down or like but it was an easy fix yeah, yeah like we just didn't have the tools to do it yeah so your stepdad came oh, he's like Bob. no I got this and he like dismantled it and couldn't put it back together <laughs> of course right, dude, and we were like he was so I crazy. love Rob stories yeah it was like and we're like. I'm like, yo, he's gonna think I soup story. He's gonna think I fucking broke this. <laughs> and he was like, well, you kind of did. And I'm like, no, <laughs> like, like it was, it was it, like structurally, integrally, like weak. <laughs> and it was like, I'm like, this wasn't my fault. It was like we got little seizures that day. It was like the yo, last time I had little seizures that stuff. before it closed. The cheesy bread more yeah. than anything. Oh my god. Oh, so yeah, I had like, a, like I would like, have a mold to myself. This. Where, nah. I've looked everywhere on Long Island. Where on, on 109? There's one of the GPS that says it's around the block from my house. I had one park. in Denver. Gave had food poisoning. Okay, no. All right, me and you will go. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is mine. All um, right, I might go. For okay, <laughs> yeah. I'll do it. Cheese bread, so bro. I, speaking I mean, of like, yeah, free food is worse uh, food poisoning. So speaking sometimes. of Rob, yeah. his stepdad, I knew, which I knew since I was like six. One day when I was 19 and living there, and I was just going to Justin, like we were going to hang out because my apartment He's a guy. He's was a right. Right, yeah, and it was in the backyard. Yeah, no, it was like a part. It was right next to his house, so like it was I got the garage. Yeah, it was a garage. garage at some point. Yeah. And I one day I go in there and there's the hood of a car in my fucking <laughs> in my kitchen. I was like, what the fuck is anyway? So oh my god, I remember like you came home once and we were all hanging out. And that's like, what, you were just like so upset that like you started fucking beating up the punch. Yeah, that's what I was, uh, I was like, bro, hang out with us. <laughs> I was, was like, just I don't know. It was, I was like it was like six of us. Yeah. yeah. Including you, like it's yeah, not but, that many people. So anyway, uh, I go Crazy. into his house and we're just, um, <laughs> we're just. I asked him like to go to like to Taco Bell, and he's taking like a plate of something. And Rob's like, "Do not take that fucking plate. Like, don't use that plate. There's paper plates in there." And just like, "No, like, there's no paper plates. I just checked." And he puts something on the plate, and he's like, "And Rob's like, fucking asshole." <laughs> and he goes in the cabinet, and there's this giant stack of paper plates. And he's like, "Oh, <laughs> sorry." <laughs> so what? So he's like, so, so I don't know what you did with that, but you took a bowl of soup mm-hmm. and in my shitty 99 Ford Contour, um, we're oh on our way to Taco God. Bell. I know. And it, so Justin tries, we're on Division Avenue. <laughs> he tries to like sip it, but it's too hot. So it goes, ah! so he rolls down the window. That was a really good echo. Go ahead. Thank you. And he tries to like cool off the suit by with leaning it out. Yeah, with the wind, and it's like falling all over the place. I Literally, was like, <laughs> I had the smart idea. I was like, "Oh, I've done this before in my car." I was like, "Let me cool it down with the cold temperature outside." And the wind's cold, it's blowing. Yo, just I turn put the door AC. outside. It was February. It was already cold. The, all the soup was like, <laughs> and it splashed in my face, and I'm like, "Fuck, fuck!" You know what? I, like I remember hanging out with you before you moved in with him. Like it was like uh, Coochie and I. Like we picked you oh, up. Yeah. And then, like, we, like, Coochie was, like, just got his license, so he thought it was hot shit. Oh, so he pulled away from your house, and your mom called. He was like, who was that asshole that was driving oh too dangerously God. with my son in the car? <laughs> and you're like, ah, oh, she's such a bitch. Moms like, are weird, She's like, she's so concerned about my safety. My I hate mom her. used to make me have a walkie-talkie, and I wasn't allowed to go four houses away, so I used to have people cover me for me in the block, and I went to Dan Miller's house once. Nice. And Dan Miller's uh, family, I don't think there was, there was no, like, parental figures no there. no no not so, that family so like i would go into his house and i'm like oh my mom's like hey are you okay i'm like yeah, yeah i'm fine i had to put a walkie-talkie in two separate houses that transmitted from <laughs> one to the other to that one to the other to the other one they taught that they taught us that in the military you you strap a cell phone like use call forwarding next to a walkie-talkie so this way nobody knows your i location. figured it out because carissa mccann's dad taught us how to do it was he a spy 
Was he in the military? We don't know what he was. Nah. I think he's in the mob. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, he, no, like that she, makes like, sense. Like there were like there were like certain he degenerate used to be kids. Off, like, he used to be a police officer. So. Yeah, yeah, like you know, like there were certain like kids like like you knew like came from like degenerate households. So, and, there like, was yeah. something, yeah, but there was also Chris and were good dad kids. had something about him that because little fishy. he would have a lot of fireworks on Fourth of July and nice. not get in trouble. <laughs> well, if he was a cop, yeah, then nah. I'm not going to arrest another. True, cop. but I don't know. Nah, he could have just been a psycho. I never like, seen him li- like go to work either. He was always. She, I saw Chris McCann at Seven Eleven once, like a few years ago. She was beautiful, and she was really nice. She was like, I, I, I think she was she excited. Was, just I to see always some- liked her and always thought she was sweet. And I lived across the street from her, but like my neighbor hated her. And uh, a didn't lot of like people- didn't like an ex wife like break her arm in high school or some shit like that. Ooh. That sucks. Like, I remember she broke her fucking arm. A, a lot of stuff happened. Yeah, I, she was just super yeah. nice to me. She's like, drown our hey, we should go, like, like, I added her on Facebook. <laughs> She's like, ghost. we should hang out sometime. Like, she needed, like, a friend, and then I was just so busy, I just... I didn't... And But apparently she's doing well now. She's got a boyfriend, and, you know, I see her on Facebook, so good for you. I doubt you're watching this, but... <laughs> yeah, no, no. yeah, we should wrap it up. Alright, All last right. thoughts. 90s. Three um, words. God, I miss Dunkaroos. I'm glad they're back. I miss Dunkaroos. All right. Was more than one word. Yeah, I'll take out the guy. I said three words. Nineties. Um. Stay golden, pony boy. That. Oh That's my 80s. god! Oh my god! What? Those seagulls just shit, and I swear to God, it was just a spew of it, and it was just flying towards us. But it, it oh. went in your roof. <laughs> <laughs> so we're good. Oh my god! <laughs> right, I was final, like looking at them. I was like, final oh. thoughts. <laughs> Digimon is better. Oh Pokemon God. for life? No, no, you throw your fucking. Dicks out for Harambe. <laughs> That's not nice. He was just a gorilla. There's-